Copyright Act 1976. The copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news, reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing non-profit, educational, or personal use tips the balance favor of fair use. The video that I'm about to play, I don't own it. Again, I'm not profiting from it. Like the disclaimer said, it is for fair use only. Family, let's get into it. Like uh, the Lord gave us the power, the strength. He gave us the power. He gave us this talent. Eh? It's all about prophecy, family. It's all about prophecy. The Lord says, everything that is done in the dark, eh? will indeed come to light. That's Luke 8, 17. Just roughly paraphrasing. Before I bring this video out, honor, glory to our power, Yahweh, our heavenly father and his only begotten son, the redeemer of Israel. That's right. The deliverer of Israel. Basically, that's what his name means. Yahweh Shai means the deliverer family. He is coming to get his elect out. Out of Babylon before he destroy Babylon the great. As this nation prepare for war, things are escalating at the speed of light. The prophecies are jumping off the pages and family. We are supposed to warn the elect. Keep them in the loop. This is what, this is the task that the Lord has given to us in these last days. Eh? It is a privilege to have this truth here, family. It is a privilege and we don't take it for granted. Nobody is boasting. The only thing that we are boasting in is the name of our power. Yahweh, our heavenly father and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the two names that we boast in because those two names belong to Israel. That's right. The 12th tribe of Jacob. No other nation have anything to do with those names. Those names belong to Israel. Those are the two names that we boast in. The Lord Yahweh and his heavenly father and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Family, let's get into the video. Oh, family, this is a doozy. This is a doozy. Let's get into it. It is the mother of all talk shows, the Open University of the Airwaves, the College of Knowledge, where there are no tuition fees and where you are encouraged to speak back to the teacher, either on the poll or on the message. Oh, this is George Galloway. He covered geopolitics. Family, to that's today's, this is today's episode. He just finished it and I watched it. And family, it is beauty. It is a beauty. With family, we see prophecy written all over, all over the segment. And we will bring the precepts out. Family, let's get into it. ...systems that we have, or even better, by making your call. The numbers are 08081965522. If you're in Britain or Ireland, you can phone entirely free of charge. If you're in the U.S., or Canada, it's plus one eight four four nine four four double three double four. Many people have already begun ringing in because the subjects we're dealing with tonight could scarcely be of greater moment. As I said, a state of virtual war exists between Russia and the United Kingdom. Never in second place, the United Kingdom's hatred of everything Russian Everything in Moscow, everything in the Kremlin is now vividly on display. The British bombed the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. The British launched an attack on the Black Sea fleet of the Russian Federation yesterday. The British were involved in the attack on the civilian infrastructure of the Kerch Bridge leading between the mainland of Russia and the Crimea. How do we know all this? Because Russia had illegally hacked the private telephone of the briefly British Prime Minister Liz Trust. Liz Trust, we can say, did not have time for the spycraft class at the Foreign Office. We know that the British did it because she texted Antony Blinken, the U.S. Secretary of State, one minute after the explosion 
of the Nord Stream pipelines with the heavily coded words, it's done. She is more Austin Powers than James Bond, I'll give you that, but then she wasn't long in the job. This was one minute after the explosion and before anybody else in the world even knew that the explosion had taken place. The fact that the Russians could so easily hack the phone of the British Prime Minister is a remarkable thing, especially as they were using the Israeli-invented spyware Pegasus software, which is represented in court, if you want to take a legal action against them, by none other than Cherie Blair, KC, the wife of the former British Prime Minister, Tony Blair. Curiouser and curiouser. Israeli spyware enabled the Kremlin to listen in and read the messages of the British Prime Minister. And the British Prime Minister was so stupid, she gave away British culpability of a top secret terrorist operation directly to the phone of the US Secretary of State and without the use of codes. She could have said, it's raining in London, or is it raining in Washington? Or have you hanged your washing out to dry? But no, she texted the words, it's done. Well, it's done now, Liz. The Russians know that you did it. That you did it, moreover, not just against Russia, but against your own NATO allies, in Germany in particular, uh, but also in Sweden and Denmark. Friendly allied countries had their infrastructure destroyed or their territorial sovereignty assailed by you, by your special boat service commanded from the Admiralty building in Whitehall in London. You placed the machinery that was able to be located by the American airplane that flew all the way from the USA and bombed the locators that your special boat service had placed there. It was an Anglo-American operation of some bravery and some skill. And there will be people in Whitehall buzzing that I'm calling them out right now for doing this. But I believe that just as a small cloud can be a harbinger of great storms to come. This action against the Nord Stream by the Anglo-American Axis is that small cloud, and it is a harbinger of great cloud, great storms to come. And those storms will look like this. Increasingly, on the European mainland, the country, the people, and even now the governments of mainland Europe are tiring of the UK-US suicide mission that they have been forced to undertake. They will not forgive an attack costing billions and costing even more importantly, potentially the lives of tens of thousands of people who will freeze to death in Europe in the coming months. They will not forget the way that the euro and the European economy has been sacrificed for the dollar and for the economy of the United States of America. They will not forget that American nuclear weapons, new nuclear weapons, have now been ceded on American bases throughout their territory, making them an instantaneous target in an intermediate range nuclear exchange of weapons, which may very well happen as a result of the Ukraine war. They will not forgive the interference in their political, economic, and sovereign internal affairs that Britain and the United States in particular have been responsible for. And so the great storm to which I refer is one in which Britain and the United States become increasingly isolated in public opinion first and isolated formally, politically, and economically, Macron and Schultz are busily preparing 
a legal challenge against the United States' unfair economic practices, its false notions of capitalist competition. And that court action is about to begin. And that too is a sign of things to come. Europe, which was inching towards a Eurasian engagement in its future, has now become profoundly alienated from Britain and the United States. And that is not in the interests of the people of Britain or the people of the United States. It's going to happen slowly, but surely. And I have no doubt how it will end. It will end with a rapprochement between Russia and Germany and France and, by definition, the smaller fish that sail along in the wake of the, uh, the Franco-German political and economic alliance. The isolation of Britain and the United States will leave a few friends in the world. The five eyes, yes, but those eyes are dimming. And as the Russian hack of Liz Truss's telephone makes clear, they're not the only people with eyes and with ears in at the top table of the powers. Now, poor Paul Pelosi got hammered the other night. All praises, honor, glory to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, again, Shalom to the elect, the hopeful elect of Israel who are paying attention, waiting for their savior, the king of Israel, Yahweh Shai, to come and beam them up into the char chariots, the so-called UFOs, that's how the Lord is coming. I will say Shalom to you. And yes, before I forget, my teachers, the elder apostles from the great millstone that taught me this truth, double honors to them. Salutation to all the beautiful brothers out there pushing this truth, especially in this time, sacrificing their body, making their, giving the, their time eh, to push this truth. The gospel of the kingdom, I will say, may the Lord continue to bless you with knowledge and understanding and continue to bring the work out. Because yes, your reward indeed is in heaven, the kingdom to come. All praises, all praises, all praises, all praises to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, for this beautiful riches. Eh? Let's go to the book of Luke. Hmm? Luke chapter 8. Oh, family, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Luke chapter 8, verse 17, quickly, it says here. Mm. Oh, it says here. Luke 8, verse 17, says, For nothing is secret mm, that shall not be made manifest. Oh, yes. It's a neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. All praises to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. The Lord sees everything. We give the credit to the Lord because he told us that this kingdom indeed will come to an end. Yes, yes, their own allies, family, their own allies will form together and they will take down the B system, which is America. The whole that sits on many waters. America days are numbered. Yes, America's days are numbered. And before the Lord does it, family, we have to warn America, tell America that what the end is near. Eh? That's what the prophets of old, exactly what they did. Before the Lord bring destruction, they prophesied. Okay, Noah did that for a hundred years. Eh? When he was building the ark, he was telling the people, repent, 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 repent. Yes, the rain is coming, but they were laughing at Noah. Because why? At that time, there was never rain on the land. It was all mist, right? That's how the grass were watered by mist. There was never rain. So they look at Noah. They look at Noah like he, he lost his mind. Eh? The same thing is happening right now. We're telling you that America is about to be destroyed. You're probably laughing. Eh? Saying these people have lost their mind. And that's exactly how the Lord wants it. Eh? The elect will hear this and they will turn things around. They will take heed. Eh? And then the rest, yes, they're going to be turning into a barbecue. That is what is going to happen. And that's what the Lord is bringing. So that is okay. That is okay. We are not pushing this year. It's only for the elect. Eh? Let's go to the book of Ecclesiasticus. Mm? Eh, the Lord sees everything, family. The Lord sees everything. The Lord sees everything. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus chapter 23, verse 19. Family, it says here, hmm? it says, Such a man only feareth the eyes of men and knoweth not 
that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, mm? beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret path. They thought Russia would never know who blew those, um, those pipelines, right? Hey, that's how the Lord works. Not knowing that they, Russia, was already three steps ahead of them. Mm -hmm. They've tapped the prime minister's phone. So all, everything that she was doing, they were monitoring it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. As soon as those pipes were blown, he says, it is done. Guess who has those uh, incriminating test messages now? Russia does. A pipeline that cost billions and billions of dollars. You brought it, eh? You've destroyed Europe now. Oh, yes, family, things are about to be heated. Family, things are about to escalate. And this is, family, we give honor and glory to our power. Before it happens, he tells us about it. He told us that this kingdom eventually is going to break it apart. The book of Daniel tells us. And that's exactly what you're seeing right now. Credit, honor, glory, praises, power to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They are the one that gets the glory. Him and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, our Redeemer. Yes, it says here. Mm. Verse 20 says, He knew all things are ever they were created. Listen to this. This is the Lord. He knew all things are ever they were created. So also after they were perfected, he looked upon them. All your secrets, he knows it. It says that the Lord's eyes are what? 10,000 times brighter than the sun. You know what I mean? He has the angels watching everything. Every little thing that's happening on this planet, the angels get the, the load down and they report to the power, Yahweh. Do you know how many angels are out there? 10,000 times, 10,000 times, 10,000. You do the math, family. Those are the Lord's eyes. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. The omnipotent power. Family, that's the power of Israel. We are the only people that can call upon thy name. We are the only people, family, do you know how blessed you are? To call upon the name Yahweh? And it's only begotten son, Yahweh Shai? We are blessed indeed. Yes, family, I don't want this thing to be long, but family, it's just beautiful. Oh, family, it's beautiful. Eh? The truth is coming out. The truth is coming up. The truth is coming up. Family, let's go to the book of Isaiah 34. I don't want this thing to be long. I just want I saw that and I said, you know what? Though? Let's bring it out to the family. Isaiah, through the spirit, family, this is all, this is all led by the spirit, family. The Holy Spirit, you know. It says, say, Isaiah, let's go to Isaiah 34. Huh? Isaiah 34. It says, come, come near, ye nations, to hear. Uh, family, come ye, it says, come near, ye nations, to hear. And hearken, ye people, let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. It says, for the indignation of the Lord, eh? his righteous judgment, that's what that means. It says here, the indignation of the Lord Yahweh is upon all nations, eh? and his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. Mm, it says here, they are slain, they are slain, they are slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood, mm? and all the hosts of heavens shall be dissolved mm -hmm. and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll that's the nuclear missile it's about to family oh it's about to take off when those nuclear missiles hit it, it it becomes like a mushroom cloud that's what is coming the third world war is here it's already here every they know it's here And there's nothing they can do about it because it's the Lord that is directing them to fulfill His will, to bring the end of this kingdom. This is, this is what it's all about. The end of this kingdom and the beginning of the new kingdom. Yahweh Shai, His only begotten son's kingdom, which is going to be on this planet Earth. It says here, 
and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the vine, and as fallen fig from the fig tree. Family, that's how people, family, they're going to be. The Lord is about to kill a lot of people. It says here, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Hmm? Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Idumia is modern day the Edomite. These are the, the alliance. Hmm? Esau's name was changed to Edom. Idumia is another way of saying Edom in the Greek. Okay? So wherever they are, the so-called white people. That's right. It says here, <coughs> and upon the people of my curse to judgment. It says here, the sword of the Lord is filled with blood. Hmm? It is made fat with fatness. Man, our power can be very poetic. Eh? It says here, fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams, for the Lord hath a sacrifice in Bosra. This, the Lord is about, who family, America, when it's all said and done, it's going to be a monument. Nobody's going to live in America. Eh? That's, family, that's, is it going to be a monument to show people how not to live? Hmm? Your wicked lifestyle, that's right. Your abomination, all the stuff that you've done, this is going to show people. One day they're going to come and they're going to look at it because, yeah, it's just, just like, uh, what is it, Sodom and Gomorrah. Eh? Nobody was able to, uh, to live on that land. It's exactly what's going to happen to America. It says here. Um, I do me sorry. Verse seven it says, "Let's go to verse 8. It says, "For it is the it for it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of His recompenses, for the controversy of Zion." This is all about Israel, okay? Israel, that Zion, the monument. It says here, "And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone." Family is describing how Sodom and Gomorrah was. You hear that? Brimstone, family. And the land, therefore, shall become burning pitch. Nobody's going to live in America. It says here, It shall not be quenched, night nor day. The smoke, therefore, shall go up forever from generation to generation. It shall lie waste. None shall pass through it, None shall pass through it forever and ever. Are you listening to this? This is what is coming. This is what is coming. This is what is coming. There is nothing anybody can do about the judgment that is coming to America because this is the Lord's movie. The Lord gave all these nations time to rule. That's right. The book of Daniel tells you. Okay? And they all came, rule, and gone. Actually, you know what? It pops in my spirit. I might as well go. Let's go to the image of Daniel, Daniel's dream. Image... Daniel 7 is Daniel. Is Daniel. Oh, sorry, it's Daniel 8. What? I just did it. Let's go to Daniel. Image of Daniel. Dream. I think I just want to bring the image family. Let's go to the image. So these are all the nations that came in row. If I can blow it up, let's see. Okay, get that. So here, they all came in row. Okay, all this nation as prophesied by Daniel. Okay. So the head represent what? Uh, the book had The head was the gold. The book had dream. It says here, Babylon. It came and gone. Babylon. That's the ancient Babylon family. Okay. And now the modern day Babylon is America. The virgin daughter hasn't been destroyed yet with fire. That's what is coming. Now the modern day, the old Babylon is still there. That's that modern day, that whole Iraq area family. That place is still in existence. It was never burned with fire. So this coming, this Babylon here is going to be destroyed with fire. So here, it's going to be destroyed with fire. Sorry about that. So the chest now is who? The chest was the, the meat and the Persia. They also came and gone. Okay? Which was what? 529 BC to 331 BC. And then followed that, the belly and the thigh, the bronze, which was the Greek empire. 
This is the beginning of the Edomites in kingdom. Esau, Edom. This is the beginning of their, 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 their rulership. Okay? The so-called white people. All right? So that started with Alexander the Great. And then from there, it moved on to the Roman Empire. The leg. Okay? The, the Romans were the one. They, obviously, we know what they did to our Lord, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai. They were in rulership when Yahweh Shai was on the land. Okay? And they came and gone. But now we are the feet. You see the feet? Part iron, which goes back to what? The Roman Empire. Okay? That's the same thing that you've seen, right? This is the rebirth of the Roman Empire. And then you have the, the B system. When anytime you hear the word, the B system is back the same, the same uh, way the Roman, the uh, Asian Roman Empire used to rule. That's the same thing you're seeing right now. The two-party system, the same uh, and the same vassal state that the Roman Empire had. That's what you see EU and NATO. Family, there's nothing new under the sun. Okay, there's nothing new under the sun. So the feet and the iron clay divided kingdom. Basically, that's what it is. The Lord told us that it will not, it, 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 they will not come together as a unit. And that's what you're seeing right now. We are at the feet and the toe, the end of their kingdom. This is the end of their kingdom. And there's absolutely nothing they can do about it. The end is manifest. All this kingdom, like the book says, the Lord prophesied. That's why the Lord tells us before it happens. Right? The Lord says why he doesn't do that, but reveal his secret to his prophet. Let's go that reveal, reveal his secret to the prophet. Is it Amos 3 or Amos 3 7? Let's go. Amos 3 7. Let's get that and, and glorify the Lord. Amos 3, verse 7 8. It says here, Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he, do, he does what? He reveal his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Family, this gift here, it was given to us by the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. I didn't do anything to deserve this mercy. And nobody should be proud. We boast in the name of our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. He's the only one that prophesied about her. Family, this book here cannot be compared to any other book. Our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Rakah Kodash, family. The Lord Yahweh, the power of Abraham, Isaac. His name is Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Those two names are going to get the glory. They are telling us before it happens, they tell us about it. This is how they reveal his secret to his prophet. So when we go through this news article, family, we can be watching the news and then three, four, five precepts pop in our head. That is the spirit. The Raka Kodash. That's the spirit. And it's the Lord that gave us that spirit. All praises to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh This is a spiritual thing, family. So family, as you heard, prepare your mind, your soul. Family, we are at the last date. Let's go there, finish with Romans chapter 13. And then we call it Romans 13. What is it? Uh, Romans 13. Let's go to 11. It says here, family. And that, Romans 13 verse 11, it says here. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. <laughs> Family, let's get it. I want to show you the last one, one video and then we wrap this thing up. Let's go to, oh, where is it? Uh... It has officially accused the... Good afternoon, everyone. Russia is warning that the threshold for nuclear weapon use has been lowered now that America is sending repurposed nuclear weapons and uh, better and more advanced nuclear weapons toward NATO countries right at Russia's border. Russia warns that the nuclear threshold has now been lowered as NATO has accelerated its deployment of modernized nuclear weapons into Europe. Russia is said to be furious after Denmark confirmed the deployment of truck-mounted Harpoon anti-ship missiles, as well as other anti-ship systems, to Ukraine. 
This is being called by officials as an effort to strengthen Ukrainian defenses against Russian Navy ships that have been attacking the country from deep out within the Black Sea. This is said to be part of the reason that Russia is closing down the grain deal, the grain deal that slowed the food supply chain problem that we started to experience just a couple of months ago. The uh, Revelation by Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin says that it is being reported that the U.S. government may also be deploying a plan or developing a plan to arm Ukraine with advanced anti-ship missiles, including Boeing's Harpoon systems, Kongsberg systems, and Raytheon's naval missile strikes, uh, naval strike missiles. Russia will not stand for this, warns one military strategist. In Russia's eyes, its ships, irreplaceable in the short-term theater of war, are off-limits. They can be used to launch attacks, but Russia had so far seen them as impervious to attack themselves because of the logistics that were in place that, of course, stopped Ukraine from getting to them. They were essentially unreachable. With this chance of events, however, Russia is attacked yet again, not by Ukraine, but by the countries that are backing Ukraine. That's the United States of America, the United Kingdom, Germany, Denmark, and many others. Lithuania's uh, foreign ministry has called on all allies to secure the Ukrainian grain export with military ac uh, es escorts across the sea. After Russia announced that it suspended the UN deal that allowed the export of Ukrainian grain, the Lithuanian uh, foreign ministry has said that it is <laughs> negotiating with uh, Russia in its negotiations with Russia. All discussion has failed. It is time now, they say, to bring in military escorts to the grain uh, belt. The director general of the International Atomic Energy Agency says that the situation at the currently Russian-occupied or controlled nuclear power plant, the largest nuclear power plant on European soil, is dangerous. They say that frequent power outages are increasing the probability of a meltdown in the reactor core. You know, you have a, a computer in your house, you have a, uh, a TV in your house, you keep flipping that breaker on and off, on and off, or you keep giving it full juice, no juice, full juice, no juice, you're increasing the likelihood that something is going to go wrong. And that's exactly what they're seeing. Now, whether this uh, full core meltdown will be a, used as another military event or it will be used as a false flag event, that is anybody's guess at this moment in time. Russia has officially accused the United Kingdom of what they are calling direct military involvement in the naval drone strikes that attacked Russian positions less than 36 hours ago. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, the quoted specialists from the UK assisting Ukraine with training, with supervision, and possibly direct actionable intelligence, as well as what they call forward ground oversight of the event. The uh, Defense Ministry released a statement saying that the Ukrainian administration, well, they used the, the uh, good old term, the good old American term, regime, but that the Ukrainians carried out a terrorist attack against the ships of the Black Sea Fleet. They say that civilian ships were on the outer and inner roads of the base. The attack involved nine unmanned aerial vehicles and seven autonomous drones of uh, maritime drones. The preparation of this act and the training of the military personnel of the 73rd Marine Special Operations Center were carried out under supervision of British specialists. This is a major, major escalation by Russia to be directly blaming the UK, directly blaming the USA, directly blaming the British uh, military for this attack is an act that is of war. We have to see that the lines are being blurred between the old world, where World War I, World War II, you, have, you would have these official declarations of war, and all the people would stand behind that declaration of war. This new blending is to get around the peoples, your and my, yours and mine. The civilians want to go to war. It no longer matters that you don't want to send your children off to war. 
They'll be picked up by police. It no longer matters that you don't want any involvement in another rich person's wealth grab. It doesn't matter to them. And so instead, they don't have these full-on declarations of war. They just go to war with each other without calling it that. Of the grain supply that feeds a large uh, portion of our world, Ukrainian government spokespeople had the following to say. We have warned of Russia's plan to ruin the grain initiative. We want to end the dead family. Let's close this up. The war is coming. We give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai, because we know that he's the one that's going to get us out of here. You know, um, we give honor and glory, man. We thank the Lord. We thank the Lord. <clears throat> it says here, Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10. So, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. This heaven, family, Esau's heaven, his rulership. That's right. When we go back on top, when we go into our rulership, that will be our heaven. This is the heaven of Esau, the Edomite, and this nation, this is their heaven. They are the one ruling family, but this is Esau's rulership. This is the Lord gave him. Esau was the end of this world, and Jacob is the one to follow. So this is what the Lord is saying, his rulership. It says here, let's, read, let's start from the top. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with, great, with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat mm -hmm. the element everything associated with these devils are going to melt away family it says here the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up your witchcraft your gods your your institutions your government everything is gonna be destroyed by the coming of our Lord. That's right. Yahweh Shai, the one the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. He, no, he's not blue eyes. He's not pale skin. He's not blonde hair. No, he is the so-called black man. And oh yes, he's very, he said, you're not going to meet him as a man. He's very angry. Because when you had, when he came as a lamb, when you, you nailed him to the cross, no, he didn't forget that. That's why he's saying that you're never going to meet him as a man. Now he's coming with thousands and thousands of thousands and thousands of angels, the so-called UFOs, eh, to destroy your heaven. That's how our king, this is what our king is coming to do. So family, yes, verse 11 says what? Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, eh, what manner of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? The Lord is coming, family. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh is coming. That's right. Our Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, is coming. That's why you're seeing everything moving at the speed of light. Everything is just ratcheting up because their end is here. I will leave it there. Honor, glory to our power, Yahweh, our Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son. Double honors to my teachers from the great millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. Salutation. To the beautiful brothers out there, day in and day out, putting their body as a living sacrifice, feeding the flock. And to you, the brothers and sisters that continue to listen, continue to take heed, shall warm.